Welcome back to the Trend Micro How To series for Apex One and Apex Central. You might have heard this before, but I'm, my name is Michael Clifford. I work at Trend as a support engineer for products like Apex One and Apex Central. And uh, we went ahead and already, in a previous video, synchronized to the Active Directory. So today we're going to add a user account from the Active Directory to show you how easy it is. So under User Accounts, just click Add. I'm sorry, under Administration, <laughs> account management user accounts you would click add and this is where you would select the role right here uh, you could select a, a role that you have these are the two built-ins but you can always create more roles uh, later on so I'm an admin so I'm gonna go ahead and add myself as an admin go to Active Directory user group and just put in the username or group that you want to have these permissions So once we put in the information, we click search and I pop right up. So this is my Active Directory account. So I'll just select that over, click next. And then you define the, the scope of what this user can, can modify on the Apex One. I don't have much of an agent tree right now. It's just one folder on my Apex One server. So that's already selected. Um, once you have it more fleshed out, you can select very individual directories in case your user has very specific responsibilities in your organization. And we have more granular permissions over here. So once you expand the tree scope, you can actually select individual uh, agent trees and assign different permissions all the way through if you want to limit them to just viewing or configuring for each individual object. So you go through these and whatever that user or group is uh, capable of doing, you would just set it there and you can also copy it off of other uh, copy the settings of the other selected domains or other domains. So once you're done selecting all the permissions that they have, just go ahead and click finish. And that's it, we're done. We can go ahead and log in with that account now. And we'll, we'll just do that as a demonstration. And you'll notice that you have the new domain box down here if you didn't have your Active Directory synced up before. And you just fill out your, well, you don't even need the, uh, <laughs> the NetBIOS name in front of it because you can just select it down there, so. If I knew how to type. There we are. We select the domain we're a part of, log on, and we're on with our new admin user. So that's it for adding a Active Directory user to Apex One. Um, we'll have plenty of videos for you to go through on a lot of other stuff, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for joining. Bye.